Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World and the Black Business School. Many of you guys know that I'm a finance professor. That's what I do. And I like to talk about financial stuff every now and then. Now, I got a question um, that I saw in the chat. Uh, feel free to put your questions in there and let me know if you have any other things you want me to talk about. But I was noticing that uh, there was um, uh, a discussion about how to become a millionaire. Uh, a lot of people want to become millionaires. And uh, for a lot of us, when we start off, it seems difficult. It seems impossible. But I'm here to tell you that thousands of people, thousands, tens of thousands of people become millionaires millionaires. Uh, it, it's really straightforward if you kind of know what the formula is. So what I'm going to do is kind of break that formula down for you and kind of give you some game or that you can take with you. Um, being a millionaire basically means that if you take your assets and you subtract your liabilities, uh, you're going to have over a million dollars. So if you, t if you uh, take everything you own, subtract everything you owe, then, and that's over a million, then you're a millionaire. Congratulations. Uh, the way people become millionaires in America typically are through uh, investing in stocks and bonds on a consistent basis over a long period of time, uh, owning some sort of property, maybe buying a house and, letting the, and, and watching the value of their house go up over time. And then the, um, a lot of people that uh, become entrepreneurs become millionaires. Not every entrepreneur becomes a millionaire, but uh, what the entrepreneurship does is if you become really good at it and somebody really trained you on it it accelerates the growth of your income so that increases the the income and what you got to do all at that point is deal with the outflow so think of it like a basketball game right like uh, if somebody says well how many points does it take to win a basketball game well you could win a basketball game with three points if you keep the other teams scoring two or less right but you could score 140 points and still lose if the other team scores 141 points so your team is your income the other team is your uh, expenses and your liabilities right so if you want to be a millionaire basically if you take uh, what you make and uh, what you brought in and what you actually own and subtract what you owe which is the other team uh, and the in your team beats out the other team then you'll be a millionaire if it's if the difference is more than a million dollars so uh, what you want to do is look on the other side of that equation so on one side you got income which gives you an opportunity to have ownership so that means that whatever income comes in you want to put that into places where the assets are gonna not just stay in your possession but they're gonna grow in value over time that's why I mentioned investing, real estate, and entrepreneurship. But then you talk about what you owe. Well, spending uh, is, is one thing. Spending is bad enough, but spending also leads to debt because all debt really is, is the ability to spend in advance, to start spending money that you ain't even got yet. So if you're spending money that you do have and spending money that you don't have, then you ain't never going to have nothing, right? So what's going to happen is if you're not careful is that your debts will exceed your um, your assets, right? So you have to really think hard about how you can build up the asset side, minimize the liability side, build up the ownership, uh, get rid of what you owe, get rid of every everybody you owe uh you know when you're born you don't have any debt right you don't have any student loan debt you don't have any credit card debt well uh keep that down and and shut it out if you can knock it out pay it off then on top of that with student loans do what you can with those i know some of y'all are stuck and it's okay but uh one of the things you want to understand is that most people in america that become millionaires become what david bach refers to as automatic millionaires these are people who make little investments consistently over a long period of time and then one day they wake up and they're and what they own is more more than what they owe by more than a million dollars right so so what i would say is that if you're 25 or 30 or whatever and you want to be a millionaire by the time you're done or you want your kids to be millionaires here's what you do take your income put a percentage of your income toward things you're going to own put it toward stocks and bonds put it toward real estate if you can maybe even put it in a small business that's a really valuable skill for people to have especially if you're black then also on the flip side when you talk about spending money don't spend more more than what you make because you don't want to run a deficit because when you start running a deficit that the only way to support a deficit is to build more debt, right? So if you spend all the money you have in your pocket, you start spending money you ain't got yet. Next thing you know, a lot of your money's going over to the other team, right? So keep that second side low, uh, build that first side up. Also put your money into things that are going to grow in value. So you start making money when you sleep. And next thing you know, by the time you're done, you become a millionaire. So the, the best part of that about that too, is that your kids get to start at a place where you finished, right? So you handed the baton to them uh, in first place when you might've got the baton in last place. So some of y'all might have some bad Bad situations you came out of, but you can put your kids in a better situation. You, you just have to have focus and you really got to have a plan. So that's it. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe and also leave comments and questions. I'm going to go through and I'm going to find questions. Uh, I'll answer questions every now and then and, and uh, see what I can do to help you and encourage you to do better in your life and to reach your goals. I just want to see you win. You know, so let's go, let's go beat the other team and, and uh, go get some wealth in this community. So take care. And also uh, every day we do uh, financial commentary on the black financial channel.com.
thebeblackfinancialchannel.com. So go subscribe to theblackfinancialchannel.com if you're into the financial thing. Uh, it's a great channel. It's for black people. It's all about money. It's, all, it's what we do. All right, so I'm out of here, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you soon. Be good. Peace.